Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Kevin Johnson here with Century 21 Edge coming at you with another KV Core 101 tutorial. And today we're gonna to talk about how to post a blog over on your KV Core website and share it with consumers. So let's dive on in. The first thing I'm gonna do is go over to my Google document where I've typed out my blog. Now it's important when you're here to do it without any formatting. So keep it just normal text, keep it simple. We'll do any formatting we wanna do over in KV Core. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all my text and copy to my clipboard. A couple different ways I can do it. If, depending on what computer you have, if you have a Mac OS, you can do Command A. If you have a Windows-based computer, be Control A. So I'm gonna highlight everything. The other thing I can do also, um, if I want to, is right click and then I should have a select all. In this uh, example, I don't. So I'm just going to Command A. Once I have that, I'm going to go ahead and right click copy. I can also do Command C or Control C, depending again, Command C is going to be Mac, Control C will be Windows. And then I'm gonna head over to KV Core. I'm here on the home screen, left hand side my main window. If you don't see the full menu, just go ahead and click on the hamburger icon right here. It'll expand your menu. You're gonna come down to Web and IDX, slide over and down to Website Blog and select that. Once this loads, I'm gonna come down to this little green button right here on the right hand side that says add post. It's gonna open up a place for me to go ahead and start posting my blog. I'm gonna click into the big box. I'm gonna right click and paste and match style. I don't wanna just do regular paste. I don't wanna do command V or, or control V. I wanna paste and match style. I wanna make sure that no extra code, anything comes in from wherever I've copied this from, whether it be Microsoft Word, Google Docs, or whatever uh, uh, platform you're using. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up at the very top. My title is here, so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my title of my blog, and I'm going to right click and cut that out, and I'm gonna go right click and paste it where the title needs to go. Then I'm gonna come up here, put my cursor back in and clean up any extra space that it has. And you'll see why that's gonna be important in just a second. Oops. So be careful, we're gonna fix this one. Apparently I missed a comma there. All right. Next, I'm gonna highlight my section titles. Websites are just like a book, right? You have the title, chapter, content. So you wanna make sure you're layering in your content properly. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna highlight my first section title within my blog. I'm gonna come up here to paragraph. And so here's my site blog title. And then so my next title down will be an H2. That is going to be my header for my section. I'll come down, highlight my next one, and go ahead and H2. Go to my next header, highlight it, H2. Next one, highlight, H2. And next one, I'm gonna highlight and H2. And then I'm done. Here's my last section. So I'm probably gonna put my final thoughts. I'm gonna separate that out from the section above it. I'm going to highlight that. And I'm gonna go ahead and click H2. So now I've got my blog posted in here. We're good to go. The one thing I can come down here at the very bottom, I can schedule this for a future date, or I can just go ahead and leave it at today. In this case, we're gonna leave it as today. And then I can either publish it now, or if I wanna come back and work on it later, I can save it as a draft. So I'll go ahead and click on Publish Now. And that's gonna go ahead and put the blog here. You go track the views, any comments, when the last time you updated it was, the author, a link to it, and then if you wanna come back, you can always edit it here as well. So I'll go ahead and copy the link, just to show you what it looks like. I'm gonna paste it in. Let that load up and you'll be able to see your brand new blog right there on your website, nice and formatted out. It has your, all your information from your profile and of course the customer can log in and leave a comment. So just a great way to be able to start sharing some awesome content. This was a down and dirty uh, quick tutorial. In future ones, I'll do a KV Core 201 where we talk about hyperlinking content, when to use images, when not to use images, and how to get the right size images into this blog. 
So in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this useful. If you did, you're watching us on YouTube, please do me a favor, click subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to click that bell so you're notified when we post new videos. In the meantime, why don't you do me a favor? Check out some of our other videos right here on our channel.